A portion of this video is sponsored by Zynga's Words with Friends 2. Hey, it's me. Today's a thrift store makeover, which involves me taking something that I find at a thrift store, and I put my own style on it, okay? Usually this involves taking something perfectly sensible, but very plain, and turning it into something that's more my kind of style. Loud, bordering on obnoxious, but I like it. Look at that function, and I display them around my art room. Eventually it's gonna get full. <laughs> this is the special little item that I picked up at a thrift store little satchel. It's leather. It blends in with me. It's got some character. I liked it. It's a satchel. It's a satchel. It's not a satchel. It's a clutch. I like satchel better. I'm gonna try my best to inject this with personality and life. I'm dead. Anyway, let's get to business. So here's the, um, satchel, the clutch. It's super bare bones, like no tag, no pockets. It doesn't even have like a lining inside. Just by the look and feel of it, I'm guessing that this is pretty old. It seems decent quality though. It has a really cool rainbow effect going on. Stop projecting rainbow vibes on this bag. That's my job. I spent $18 on this, which is big money for a thrift store find. The inside looks like 30 years of built up purse grind. Ew. So I'm gonna start by using some metal cleaner to attempt to clean up the brass closure on the front. There we go. Clean side versus dirty side. What do you think? Yeah, not that big of a difference, but still. Let's do the other side. Ooh, that was way too much. The surface of this is really scratched up and kind of chipped away, so some of this dingy look is here to stay. I hate when I accidentally rhyme, but we can at least remove a lot of the dirty, um, the dirty. <laughs> remove the dirty. So that's a little bit better than before, and it's painting time. So I'm preparing some leather paint in a couple different shades of blue, and here we go. painting the bag pink haha <laughs> no it's blue that's not funny i don't know if this hurts anyone to see me painting on a nice old leather bag maybe for some people this just is not okay like i'm ruining it i'm ruining it this bag has been abandoned okay somebody threw it out it's probably been sitting at the thrift store for months and months and nobody's even noticed it until that one weirdo walked in and was like oh i can paint this so i think it's time to give it a new life so i'm gonna let that dry i totally dipped my paintbrush into my coffee instead of my paint water. Wish I could say it was the first time. There we go. That's where you belong. So I'm thinking, you know, I love this blue color, but on this bag, it's super bright. Like it's screaming, especially compared to the old color. So I'm just going to revisit my paint choices. I'm going to add a little bit of orange to each one. Um, so that did nothing at all. <gasps> Dang it. Hmm, yes. I totally know what I'm doing. Gotta add a little bit more orange, and this is because orange is the complementary color of blue, so when you add orange and blue together, you get brown. So if you add a little orange to a lot of blue, you get a slightly more brownish blue, aka a more desaturated blue. Thank you. Okay, back to the bag. Hello, we've been gone for a while now. So there's a big difference in the color. Next to the original blue, it almost looks more greenish. It's a more toned down version of the blue and I think it's quite a pretty color. So that's all that matters. I definitely could have taped over the metal enclosure, but I didn't wanna waste any time doing that. So instead, I just tried to carefully paint around it and kept making mistakes and having to clean it off. So which one was more of a waste of time? <laughs> and just finishing that up real quick. That looks good, I'm happy with that. And I'm finally moving on to the back or the front. It's both the back and the front at the same time. You see this little pimple over here. That's just the imprint of the clasp on the front. So the reason I changed from the bright blue to this blue, yes, I'm still talking about this. I like bright colors, clearly. But I'm thinking that I'm gonna be adding bright colors on top of this, so I feel like the background color should be a little bit more subdued. It's still pretty bright, but just less bright than the colors I'm going to put on top because I want them to pop, you know? So instead of everything looking equally super bright, I don't want this to look too terribly tacky. Just a little tacky. <laughs> 
and you can see that I'm incorporating multiple shades of blue and just creating kind of a gradient look here that's it's pretty subtle but I just thought it would be nice to have a little bit of variation in the background okay and let that dry a portion of this video is sponsored by Zynga's words with friends too <coughs> so I'm gonna take a quick little break even though it's so much fun to watch paint dry it's thrilling really I have preferred to pass the time by playing words with friends too maybe you've heard of it if you've never played it it's a word puzzle app where you use given letters to create words in the most strategic way possible in order to get the maximum amount of points so you can win you just have to try it it's really fun and it's not that Hard. <laughs> you see? You see what I did? You see what I did? Once you get the hang of it, you can play against other people, or there is a mode where you can play completely by yourself. I like to play against other people because I'm competitive. Ah, oh, she's gonna play the word win. You wish. This game is perfect for me because I have these little gaps of time in the day where I'm at a standstill with my work. So I just open up the app, I have multiple games going at all times, and just make a couple plays. It's not like you have to commit to playing a whole game right then and there. You can just play what you have time for and then finish the game later. It's relaxing. When I'm winning. It's free and fun. So if you're wise, er, gotta add the R for the extra points. Download the game now. Thank you to Zynga's Words with Friends too for sponsoring this portion of the video. So here's what we got. I like it. Like, I kind of like it a lot. Like, this is kind of groovy. I would actually take this out if I had left it like this. Am I gonna do that? No, I'm just getting started. So I'm breaking out my little sketchbook. Oh, there are spoilers in there. And I'm drawing out my rough, very rough plan for my design. So time to prepare my colors. Fingers. Wait, why didn't I put that in there? I totally ruined the symmetry. Even though I think that the plain blue bag is like, it's kind of nice and it's definitely something that looks more normal that you could like take around with you, you know, without looking like a complete maniac. But I'm not necessarily trying to create something that's like fashionable. <laughs> I just want to create something unique and like art, you know? It's a cool art piece, not necessarily like something that I would use well i will use it just not like as an accessory what am i talking about regardless i've never used a clutch before i prefer satchels satchel 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 i only carry purses with straps carrying a clutch is like sacrificing one of your hands you have to carry it who does that so this will probably just stay in my art room as like a fun bag that i'll use to store some sort of supply obviously i've settled on a butterfly theme for this when i was thinking of ideas for what to paint on here but Butterflies just seem to be like the only option in my head. Just yes, yes, butterflies. Which is weird because it's not like I really have a thing for butterflies. I have said butterflies way too many times. I think I've had several butterfly pattern bags in my life. In fact, I think I still have one of them. Yep. So maybe that's why there was like a connection. Oh, these leaves. They were the struggle, man. To be fair, a big part of the problem was that there was a pretty intense glare on the bag because the paint and the leather is really shiny. So you can't really tell from the camera, but from my angle, it was really hard to see what I was doing. So the butterflies. They're no ordinary butterflies. No, 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 no. They're fruit flies. Nope, that's something else. They're fruit themed butterflies. I've just been really into fruit recently. I mean, that's kind of been going on for a while, but recently especially, I just can't get away from it. Also, I just feel like regular butterflies have just been done so many times, you know? Says the one who can't stop painting fruit. I wanted to do something special, so I made each butterfly inspired by a different fruit. So on the front, we have kiwi, lemon, and strawberry, and half my face in the frame. Go away. Now, one thing that's really bothering me, I'm sure that many of you have already fixated on this, probably already typed out raging comments about it. The little gaps in the clasp, you can still see the original leather in there. I felt like if I tried to paint in that tiny little space, I was just gonna make a mess of it. So I just left it. It may or may not get fixed later. So yes, these designs are kind of odd looking. Yeah, they're real weird. To the point where I'm not completely sure if I like them. I think I do. Butterflies are supposed to be perfectly symmetrical, but 
symmetry. I cannot. I did try somewhat to make things symmetrical, but not super precise at all. I wasn't about to drive myself crazy over it. So now I'd gotten to the point where I just can't take it anymore. The gaps, the gaps. So I just went for it and tried to paint in there. And actually it, it wasn't hard at all. <laughs> Good job! Well done, everyone! Done with the front for now, and on to the back. And I'm doing the same kind of thing on the back, but different fruits. This doesn't even really feel like a thrift store makeover because I've never painted something in this series that wasn't made of wood. I did like this process, though. It was a fun item to paint. Maybe next time I would look for, like, a mini backpack or something, like a little leather backpack. I feel like a backpack is actually something you can get away with crazy designs because backpacks are more casual, but a clutch is like more formal. So it's kind of weird this like formal antique clutch now has fruit themed butterflies on it. Fighting styles here. Nevertheless, if you hadn't put this together yet, um, this one is a watermelon butterfly and that one is a mango butterfly. I just said in my last video, that I was gonna stay away from watermelon because I do it too much. Here it is. It's not like the whole bag is a watermelon theme. I mean, it's just one butterfly. Is it the biggest butterfly on the bag? Yes. It's not even a big deal. Just like, don't worry about it. Okay, it's fine. The actual insect part of the butterfly, the abdomen, <laughs> the body, always kind of gave me the creeps with like the little legs and the hairs and <laughs> not that they're more or less creepy than most insects. I just sometimes forget that in between between their beautiful wings. They're just nasty little insects like everyone else. So I just painted that part of them really simply. I didn't want to get too detailed about it. They kind of look like little worms. Well, they were kind of worms at one point. Not exactly worms, caterpillars. Oh, I'll bet that watermelon caterpillar was cute. I'm gonna paint that next time. Anyway, you know what? I've decided. I do like these butterfly designs. I wouldn't be surprised if they came back in a different form at some point, but when it comes to the overall all design of the bag, it feels like there might be something missing. And I felt like this like the whole time I was painting this, but I don't know what it is. So I just added some little white dots. I don't know if that helped at all, but I added them to the front as well. Not sure what that is. It's freaking fairy dust, okay? And I'm just touching up that little corner spot and it's done. Remember the old tired clutch? <laughs> Wait a second, hold up. That was cool. I like that a lot. So here's the final result. I don't know how you guys are gonna feel about this. Honestly, I don't really know 100% how I feel about it. This is gonna be one that I just, I have to stare at for a month before I really decide how I feel. I'm pretty sure I do like it. It's definitely unique. So I achieved that goal. I've never seen anybody make fruit themed butterflies. We did something new today, my friends. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye.